Efficiency, Wikipedia Audio In the comparison of various statistical procedures, efficiency is a measure of quality of an estimator, of an experimental design, or of a hypothesis testing procedure. Essentially, a more efficient estimator, experiment, or test needs fewer observations than a less efficient one to achieve a given performance. This article primarily deals with efficiency of estimators. The relative efficiency of two procedures is the ratio of their efficiencies, although often this concept is used where the comparison is made between a given procedure and a notional best possible procedure. The efficiencies and the relative efficiency of two procedures theoretically depend on the sample size available for the given procedure, but it is often possible to use the asymptotic relative efficiency as the principal comparison measure. Efficiencies are often defined using the variance or mean square error as the measure of desirability. Estimators The efficiency of an unbiased estimator T, of a parameter theta is defined as where I, theta, is the Fisher information of the sample. Thus E is the minimum possible variance for an unbiased estimator divided by its actual variance. The Kramer-Rau bound can be used to prove that E less than or equal to 1. If an unbiased estimator of a parameter theta attains E, t equals 1 for all values of the parameter then the estimator is called efficient equivalently the estimator achieves equality in the kramer rao inequality for all theta an efficient estimator is also the minimum variance unbiased estimator this is because an efficient estimator maintains equality on the kramer rao inequality for all parameter values which means it attains the minimum variance for all parameters. The MVUE estimator, even if it exists, is not necessarily efficient, because minimum does not mean equality holds on the kramer rao inequality. Thus an efficient estimator need not exist, but if it does, it is the MVUE. Some estimators can attain efficiency asymptotically and are thus called asymptotically efficient estimators. This can be the case for some maximum likelihood estimators or for any estimators that attain equality of the kramer rao bound asymptotically. Consider a sample of size, n, drawn from a normal distribution of mean, mu, and unit variance, i.e., x, n, n, mu, 1, backslash sim. The sample mean, x, of the sample, x, 1, x, 2, x, n, x backslash l dots x, defined as efficient estimators. The variance of the mean, 1 slash n is equal to the reciprocal of the Fisher information from the sample and thus, by the kramer rao inequality, the sample mean is efficient in the sense that its efficiency is unity. Now consider the sample median, x. This is an unbiased and consistent estimator for, mu. For large, n, the sample median is approximately normally distributed with mean, mu, and variance, pi slash, 2, n slash comma, i.e. The efficiency for large, n, is thus. Note that this is the asymptotic efficiency that is, the efficiency in the limit as sample size, n, tends to infinity. For finite values of, n, the efficiency is higher than this. The sample mean is thus more efficient than the sample median in this example. However, there may be measures by which the median performs better. For example, the median is far more robust to outliers, so that if the Gaussian model is questionable or approximate, 
there may advantages to using the median. If, t, 1, and, t, 2, are estimators for the parameter, theta, then, t, 1, is said to dominate, t, 2, if. Formally, t, 1, dominates, t, 2, if. Asymptotic efficiency Example Holds for all, theta, with strict inequality holding somewhere. Dominant estimators Relative efficiency Estimators of the mean of UID variables Robustness Uses of inefficient estimators the relative efficiency of two estimators is defined as Although, E, is in general a function of, theta, in many cases the dependence drops out, if this is so, E, being greater than 1 would indicate that, T, 1, is preferable, whatever the true value of, theta. An alternative to relative efficiency for comparing estimators, is the Pittman closeness criterion. This replaces the comparison of mean squared errors with comparing how often one estimator produces estimates closer to the true value than another estimator. Hypothesis tests In estimating the mean of uncorrelated, Identically distributed variables we can take advantage of the fact that the variance of the sum is the sum of the variances. In this case efficiency can be defined as the square of the coefficient of variation, i.e. Relative efficiency of two such estimators can thus be interpreted as the relative sample size of one required to achieve the certainty of the other. Proof Now because S, 1, 2, equals, N, 1, sigma, 2, S, 2, 2, equals, N, 2, sigma, 2, equals N backslash sigma comma backslash S equals N backslash sigma, we have, E, 1, E, 2, equals, N, 1, N, 2, equals, so the relative efficiency expresses the relative sample size of the first estimator needed to match the variance of the second. Efficiency of an estimator may change significantly if the distribution changes, often dropping. This is one of the motivations of robust statistics an estimator such as the sample mean is an efficient estimator of the population mean of a normal distribution, for example, but can be an inefficient estimator of a mixture distribution of two normal distributions with the same mean and different variances. For example, if a distribution is a combination of 98% N and 2% N, the presence of extreme values from the latter distribution significantly reduces the efficiency of the sample mean as an estimator of mu. By contrast, the trimmed mean is less efficient for a normal distribution, but is more robust by changes in distribution, and thus may be more efficient for a mixture distribution. Similarly, the shape of a distribution, such as skewness or heavy tails, can significantly reduce the efficiency of estimators that assume a symmetric distribution or thin tails. While efficiency is a desirable quality of an estimator, it must be weighed against other considerations, and an estimator that is efficient for certain distributions may well be inefficient for other distributions. Most significantly, estimators that are efficient for clean data from a simple distribution, such as the normal distribution may not be robust to contamination by outliers, and may be inefficient for more complicated distributions. In robust statistics, more importance is placed on robustness and applicability to a wide variety of distributions, rather than efficiency on a single distribution.
M estimators are a general class of solutions motivated by these concerns, yielding both robustness and high relative efficiency, though possibly lower efficiency than traditional estimators for some cases. These are potentially very computationally complicated, however. A more traditional alternative are L estimators, which are very simple statistics that are easy to compute and interpret, in many cases robust, and often sufficiently efficient for initial estimates. See applications of L estimators for further discussion. For comparing significance tests, a meaningful measure of efficiency can be defined based on the sample size required for the test to achieve a given task power. Experimental Design Pittman efficiency and Bahadur efficiency relate to the comparison of the performance of statistical hypothesis testing procedures. The Encyclopedia of Mathematics provides a brief exposition of these three criteria. For experimental designs, efficiency relates to the ability of a design to achieve the objective of the study with minimal expenditure of resources such as time and money. In simple cases, the relative efficiency of designs can be expressed as the ratio of the sample sizes required to achieve a given objective. Notes